So it has happened. The Florida Panthers won their first Stanley Cup. They won it last night in seven games over the Edmonds and Oilers. So Canada does not get a Stanley Cup trophy this year. So for what the 30 first consecutive year in a row, Canada, no Stanley Cups for you. Um, you know, the, the the real thing is, is, you know, Connor McDavid, you know, got the Conn Smythe trophy, despite, you know, Edmonton losing the series, and he was just absent, you know, game six and seven. And I know people were going to bring it up again. That, you know, people were trying to say, oh, well, it's not the entire playoffs. Well, if it was, then maybe, you know, I think, you know, I think the Conn Smythe would have better served to go to Alexander Barkov, you know. Um, of course, you know, Sam Reinhardt with the game-winning goal and everything like that in the second period, with about 15 minutes and some change to go. And ultimately, the Panthers' defense, you know, was able to get, you know, get get the stops they needed, the end block shots. Uh, Sergei Bobrovsky, you know, absolutely going to the Hall of Fame after all said and done. You know, I know people were thinking, you know, he should have won the con Smythe. But again, there was some bad games in the Stanley Cup final. There was some bad, bad games. Game four was rough. I mean, there was the shutout in game one by Bobrovsky. And you think game two, game three, they all go Florida's way. You know, and you think, oh, well, this, this is going to be a sweep, man. This is going to be a sweep. No. Edmonton, you know, woke up. You know, it was guys like – um Warren Fogle, Connor Brown, uh, not so much, you know, you know, yeah, but David definitely contributed a lot, but guys like Darnell Nurse, no. Nah. Leon Dreisaitl, no. No, no. Nugent Hopkins, no. Nah. No, nah. not at all. Um, but, yeah, definitely the real MVPs of the series are guys for Florida, like Evan Rodriguez with the two goals in the, um, the first couple games, and then he had a goal in the – Game seven, um, I wouldn't say maybe so much Carver Hagee or you know Ryan Hart or Bennett or anything like that. Um, and yeah, I mean this is just this is just this is the good this is the good times for Florida. The Florida Panthers have won their first Stanley Cup. This is like the what the third Stanley Cup Florida's won in like the last five years. You know, I mean it's a it's a it's a damn shame for Corey Perry though. Damn shame for him. You know, so yeah, Stanley Cup was great. I can't believe this went to seven games. I really did not think it was going to go to seven. I thought it was going to go to five at best. But of course, the Oilers' willpower made this series go to seven. And you could tell that the Oilers were tired, you know, at certain points in that third period. You know, they were gassed. And Florida did everything they could to keep them from tying that game at two. You know, and thus Florida, you know, escaped with a 2 1 victory in game seven to win the Stanley Cup. You know, again, the, so many guys, you know, the, I mean, it, I mean, they, they finally did it. They finally did it. You know, there's also, you know, there's also the fact, that, you know, I, I mean, the, I mean, the Florida, you know, crazy. It's just crazy. It's just crazy to me. But yeah. but yeah, NHL draft is in a couple days. It's um, about three three days away, less than three days away. So I don't know when the NHL schedule will come out. It's supposed to come out soon, but we know the start date is October the fourth. You know the preseason games have been out for quite a minute, and then Alex Marillo, you know, he's no longer the Arizona Coyotes owner. He's basically sold his share due to. You know, things that have happened, you know, Arizona didn't want, you know, they 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 didn't they didn't want another, you know, whole arena type situation down in Arizona. At least that's what I, you know, gathered, you know. But yeah, um there's a couple trades that have gone on. Um one notable one is um Jake Wallman, you know, is now a San Jose Shark, Detroit. Got some some future draft picks. Uh, there was another trade that happened. Oh yeah, Linus Allmark. Yeah, yeah, 
minus on mark is um he's going to the senators and then and then uh, boy i can't read names very well uh corp salo along with a draft pick and mark Costelli, you know the bruins and the senators have a trade uh, i think Definitely, definitely, that, that's a definitely um, an interesting trade right there. We'll see how that goes. Uh, you didn't, I don't think I expect Ottawa to do anything, but then again, right now, I can't really, you know, say anything about the NHL rosters until we get down to that time in October. And I'll be coming to you in October again when it comes to the NHL. As, you know, the Utah Hockey Club's been unveiled. All it is is just like it's like a blue color scheme or whatever, no team name, just. The Utah Hockey Club, very uninspiring. Um, PWHL, um, another was the controversy involving the draft. You know, uh, their GM Dartwitz left; uh, they parted ways, and then you know, Britta Curl, they drafted a controversial player who you know said some things that you know are not LGBT friendly. You know, we we definitely support everybody here. Um, Daryl Watts is in. Um, Toronto now, so I don't know. People, you know, he will, you know, kind of, you know, definitely looking good on that trade. I think, I think things, the PWHL, you know, now that things have kind of quieted down a little bit, from, from, you know, from the draft and everything like that, which happened a couple weeks ago and stuff like that. But, uh, yeah, as long as the PWHL gets some more positive momentum, I think that will help its case but the nhl yeah yeah man for the first season of watching the nhl i gotta say i i was very impressed um you know i, I tuned it in on and off very on and off and it wasn't really me watching the games it was more me betting on the games but now i'm all in so um yeah, the, again, there was a lot to really, you know, kind of go over and say and things like that, you see, but, you know, it, it is what it is at this point. So congratulations to the Florida Panthers on winning their first Stanley Cup. Sad day, you know, for all the people in Edmonton, Alberta, Canada, but it's okay. You guys can come back. You have one of the best players in the world. You know, a lot of people say he is the best player in the world, Connor McDavid, you know, and I think the Oilers definitely, you know, definitely can go back. Um, Panthers, you know, unless there's like contract situations, you know, maybe, maybe it's a possibility they can do some damage, you know, next year, but that's, that's next season. We'll see how all these contracts and free agency goes because free agency starts, you know, in a couple days and everything like that. And again, the draft is in a couple days and the schedule should be out in a couple days. So I can't wait to see what my first Dallas Stars game will be. Because I'm ready. I'm ready to go to a Dallas Stars game. You best believe I'm going to a Dallas Stars game this coming season. So hang your hats and rest for a little bit as far as the NHL goes. So till um, next Monday when we talk this weekend in the football after the Massachusetts game. I will see you all later.